wouldn't it be cool if you had the research bites on autopilot just collecting on their own allowing you to do more cool stuff in astroneer explore finding new places doing different things versus having to research and grab stuff and put them in the research chamber oh, you know what man stick around i wanted to show you an early game setup that will allow you to do just that it was a game changer for me i'm pretty sure but probably a game changer for you so here it is this is the setup a very simple early game setup to have research bites infinite research bites while you're uh, playing Astroneer, which allow you to go around do other things and not have to worry about it like as you can see right now right this item here is in the research chamber and it is clocking up right the research bites here that type of thing infinite research bites infinite bites kind of sounds like a like a pokemon <laughs> infinite bites i choose you bruh okay uh moving on <laughs> anyway so here it is so let's let, let's break this down what are we looking at right now right we have a, a platform medium platform a a medium sorry a large platform a right and two more platforms over here two medium platforms over here we have an auto arm now if you look right when i go on the auto arm right this you see the green and the blue right the green and the blue the green is the pickup area the blue is the deposit area right so what it's doing right now it's picking up these research samples from over here now i got this tip from the astroneer wiki website this website is amazing if you haven't basically checked it out or if you're unaware of it you need to google it you need to find it it has everything in there now i did a, a previous video about it but i'm just letting you know in this one if you don't know now you know you need to get on the astroneer wiki website right check that place out now i have nothing to do with it i'm not affiliated with them whatsoever is there something that i found on google and it was a game changer for me so all right so so there you go that's that's your mini disclaimer i have nothing to do with that site so so what we have here right these research samples are basically regenerating or respawning from this area right here according to the wiki they respawned every 30 minutes so what happens is that with the auto arm turned on research chamber on this side right and i have the power power on this side so it's going to pick it up right it's going to place it in the research chamber and it's going to scan right? so this little item here in the auto arm i placed it in here as a form of filter right you can take an item and you, you can put it there because without this item if i were to walk into the green pickup area it would literally grab stuff out of my backpack and then it would try to place it in the research chamber if the research chamber was empty and you know we don't want that oh look there it is just respond boom right so that in a nutshell is the mechanics of how it's going to respawn pick it up and place it over there right every 30 minutes we're going to get we're going to some respawns right so over here this is the power right i've been able to create one two three four five right little batteries small batteries from my backpack right it's created down here you put the you put it in there so as you can see it requires zinc so you need to go find like uh you need to go find the the resource that will allow you to get zinc and put that in the smelting furnace to get zinc and then print out small batteries right now Come on, man. It's Astroneer. So you know everything is has a prerequisite. Everything needs a needs a needs a resource to be printed. So I don't need to go into details on that. But you know, just so you know. This side here, I've decided to put small wind turbines. Right? So what this is gonna do is is that when the wind kicks up, right, which we might get lucky enough to see and right at, at some point soon. It's going to basically start the wind turbines and then it's going to start charging, right? It's going to start charging the batteries, which then will provide power for the unit. Now, right now, look, completely drained, right? But that's okay, right? That's, a, oh, here we go. Look at that. The wind's kicking up. It's charging the batteries and powering the unit at the same time. So this is just one early game setup where you can, where you can, you know, 
gather your resources, print out the necessary requirements, the batteries, the items, to give yourself some infinite research bites. Unlimited, really, when you think about it, because it's respawning every 30 minutes. Infinite research bites. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Pokemon. Anyway. <laughs> right? So, you know, like I said, so responding every 30 minutes. So, it's an early game setup, right? It doesn't cost that much. And I, and I know that there's probably other ways to do this. I mean, there's like a thousand ways to do everything. But this is just one way that I came up with so that now... I don't necessarily have to worry that much about research bites and collecting items and manually placing them in my research chamber in my main home base. I've just set this up over here and now I can go do everything. I can explore, I can dive into other areas, I can maybe even just look at like look, look at other items in my backpack here to say that well I don't necessarily have to worry that much about research bites but let me see about unlocking certain items you know or following along you know in the in the log. And going to my next, I guess my next chapter or my or my next log item to to try to achieve, right? And not necessarily worry that much to say, oh man, I need research bites. I need to go out. I need to I need to explore. I need to grab something, put it in the chamber, so I can get enough research bites. You know, you may need to do that every once in a while to top yourself up if you're trying to get you know a really expensive item from from your catalog, right? Sure, you might need to do that. But it's just good to know that you have it on autopilot, that it's going to accumulate no matter what you're doing. And by the way, I don't need to be standing next to this thing for it to be generating the research bytes. I can literally be off screen, right? And not near the item, not near the, the setup, the research chamber and whatnot. And it will still be tracking It'll still be clocking up, collecting. So it's not something to say that, well, you have to be near it for it to actually work, right? It, that it has to be in view. No, nope. it's like off camera, so to speak. And it's just working and churning away in the background, right? So that's something that I thought was really, really cool. I wasn't too sure if it was like, well, do I need to be near it? Does, does it only work when I'm in view, that type of thing? Like maybe... Maybe some other aspects, some other games may work. I mean, I don't know. I just, you know, just I was just curious about it. But then I was like, no, it's working, even though I'm not nowhere near it. So that is a very cool item. Right, a very cool item, a very cool, very cool, a really cool uh, tip, right? You know, FYI. So there you go. That's it, man. That is an early game setup of how you can set yourself up to get unlimited or I guess you can say, yeah, unlimited research bytes collection going on without you having to manually intervene and do it yourself, right? I'd be interested to know what other setups do you think you can come up with, right? At the early or at the early game stage to like do something similar, or oh, maybe you've got even a better way, you know? If so, share that in the comment below. I mean, definitely comment below and let me know. Right, and I would love to experiment with that. But in the end, this is it, my friend. This is it. Be good. Be safe. And I'll see you in the future. Peace out.